Oh, I still can't get over that view. This is how I preheat the engine on the truck. It's just a basically a diesel heater. It dips it, it actually runs off the diesel in my tank and then it uh, circulates the coolant through it and it heats it like a block heater. Actually, it works better than a block heater because it goes through your entire engine and you basically get instantaneous heat in the truck once it gets up to full temperature. I usually just let it go until about 65 degrees and then I shut it off and I start the truck. That's it running. So the topic of today's video is why you would choose a truck camper over a van. And my first reason for that is, well, this. Now you can buy a 4x4 van, but you're going to pay upwards of fifty dollars to $100,000. And fifty dollars is like not a pretty van, I'm guessing, at least here in Canada. If you uh, wanted to do this with a truck camper, you can go out and buy a truck for $10,000 and then a camper for five. Throw the camper on there and you're in it for fifteen, dollars and you're on your way. There's actually, you can even do it cheaper than that. Like, quite honestly, it's like up to you. Like, you could go out and buy, you can spend more on your truck, you can spend more on your camper. It's up to you. Just make sure you buy a big enough truck. The truck is going to be better off-road than any van, and there's going to be a lot more aftermarket support for the truck than there is going to be for the van. If you want to put 37-inch tires on your truck, like mine, then you're going to need some sort of lift and not a small lift. This is actually uh, a Carly three inch lift on there to run these. And then it's uh, backspacing and everything. And I don't rub with the 37s, which is shocking. I didn't think this was possible with this truck, but the guy I bought it from, he did all this work to it and it rides awesome. And it just does awesome. It's a really, really cool truck. So another awesome reason why to choose a truck camper over a van is you can disconnect the camper from the truck. The truck and the camper are not one. If your truck breaks down or needs replacement, you can detach the camper from the truck and put it onto a new truck. Or if your truck is in need of repairs, you can park the camper at a campground while your truck gets prepared. It's not all one. With a van, you have now, you're looking at hotel costs to get repairs done, or looking at like other options where you're staying with like family or something like that. You're, it's a, it's a lot different of a situation because you've lost your home while it's getting repaired. So what I'm trying to say is you're not burdened with losing your home if something happens to your vehicle. So the next one I'm going to take you inside for, and this will be the final reason to get a truck camper over a van. So my final reason is you actually have a lot of space. Truck campers come in all shapes and sizes and you're able to buy them with a lot of space or minimal space. Now, even the ones that are built for half tons will even come with a bathroom. Truck campers have been around since the 1960s and they've been engineering and figuring out how to make as much space as possible in these for a long time. Now, any truck camper you find in the 90s and up, they're gonna be 
well engineered to have maximum space and the newer they get, the better they are with it. What I'm trying to say is, is you should be able to find a truck camper that is able to fit you and your lifestyle and have as much storage as you need and as little space or more space that you want. If you're getting into having like a big family or something, then a van or a truck camper is probably not for you and you're going to be looking for like an RV or something. And those are fine too. You can do four by four conversions on adventurer like RVs and stuff, as long as they have a Ford van chassis, but you're looking at a lot of money. So with that being said, do I think you shouldn't buy a van? No, I think you should buy whatever you want. In my opinion, I like truck campers better, but obviously I'm a little biased. I have one. I was looking at vans too for the longest time and there's a lot of pros with them too. The biggest thing is to get out there and just enjoy what you have. And I think you should go out and buy whatever you want. If it's a van, a truck camper, a smart car, whatever you want and just camp in it. And I think you'll have a great time with that. So with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one and I hope you enjoyed this video. Just like that, the truck starts like nothing. Gotta love those people.